The lobby group Water Can says they've gathered a petition by civil society groups and residents to compel the city of Johannesburg to disclose whether or not they have the resources needed to address the metro's water crisis. Now, the aging water infrastructure, of course, it's impacting residents and it needs very, very urgent and quick solutions. Some areas in the city still continuing to battle without water, with residents often going days, sometimes even weeks, without a single drop. Our reporter, Pule Lutriti Jones, was on the ground. Residents in Johannesburg are asking the city to play open cards regarding planned water outages. While most agree local government must rehabilitate aging infrastructure, some say they can't afford the time this would take. Joanne Dimitriades has lived in Joburg since 1992. She says constant unplanned water cuts are affecting people's livelihoods. I mean, you know, we as residents, we need to know what's going on. We need people to say, well, this is the problem, it'll take two days, or we don't know what the problem is, we'll let you know as soon as we know. At least then you know where you stand. Watercan says its petition compels the city of Johannesburg to call in more manpower to end the problem got a petition that we've had signed in terms of tell us how many people, how many teams do you have per suburb to fix leaks. That's what we want to understand. So there needs to be more transparency, more openness in terms of how they're dealing with civil society and the questions we have. Mm. And if we can understand that, say they have one team for the whole of Joburg, that's not going to work. Then yes, you are going to take three months to fix a leak. Twan has also been forced to implement planned water outages to fix infrastructure.